come down, selected the swim, gone into my Fish Deeper app, zoomed in on the area I want, and what I'm looking for is this little seven foot hump, and on the other side of it, there's 10 foot. So what I do now is I get the ruler out, put the ruler on the hump, I go back to settings, remove scans, get that there, and zoom out so I get the shoreline where I want to be, which is there. Next that tree, and click on the shore, and I then get 222 wraps to the exact spot I want to fish. Flick over to my calculator, put in 222, divide it by 12, and I get 18.5 wraps. Laying for the depth, we've gone for 20, drag it back, should be perfectly right. Uh, horizon marker wise, if you look, it's lining up with the corner of that island and the gap. So that's all I just sort of do three or four casts to get it right. I've done that, it's absolutely spot on, perfectly clean, perfectly a bit of gravel. I checked the sonar readings last night at home, and that's where I'm going to be fishing today in that swim here. So hopefully you can see that, what I've done, I've measured it there. So if you put the readings back on, I put my personal scans back on, comes back, move that, zoom in and it's perfectly on that spot and then you can choose exactly what you want to do from that. Well, back out, same lake, same swim, got a few people on here, um, seems it's still fishing just as hard, um, I hope it's not actually the case but I only know of one fish coming out so far and uh, yeah that was late Saturday night so I just have to hope and pray that um, it's not actually the case and someone else has caught some in between so I'm getting in my bivvy door because it's flat calm here but there's a nice a nice easterly blowing and it's a, a bit a bit fresh out here so it's best to stick to it and keep warm and things like that so yeah what more can I say um, hopefully not full bream this time and then hopefully convert something into a carp I've just bung the rods back on the same spot so I'm going to uh, top everything up about 11 o'clock and um, yeah see where we go from here got three nights um, should be good should be should be good you know it's going to be nice to be on the bank it's going to be hard going uh, I'll put the rods back on the spots for now but we'll see there's a slim possibility I might I might move one of them, it sort of depends uh, you know, how things go and what happens and things like that. I'll just take it from there really. Fingers crossed we can uh, produce something this time, just have to see. Anyway, I shall catch up with you later and see how we're getting on really. <laughs>
in came down fish for pike for today so I'm doubled up in here not a touch unbelievable you might have noticed I've sort of now adjusted the right hand rod I've got it a lot closer to the trees I've put it over there and uh, what I've also done is put the uh, rod a lot closer to me bivvy so I'm not quite not really snag fishing but I'm sort of fishing a little bit closer to the trees than I was earlier so I need to be able to get out and grab that rod so I've gone for single sticks I've left that one out there on its uh, well on the broom spot as I call on it uh, which hasn't produced a broom for a while so I'm hoping it's not going to produce a broom now because we don't really want it to produce a broom now they seem to be more left more left of me at the moment so which is quite good really um, Steve who was fishing to the right of me is now sort of uh, move around to another swim so he, he, he might spook the bream a little bit and push him this way so I shall see really um, sort of show and sort of I don't know sort of zoom in Ooh. about there you can see one's just sort of rolled now out there so I'm very shaky I'm on one leg from balancing them no I don't put it in a tripod to be fair but there we go um, yeah this is what it is at the moment. It's uh, grey, a little bit cold, but it's okay. It's okay. it's not bad. Um, pressure's high. A little bit of sunshine, but not really. So, don't know really. We'll see where we go. Really, a, stand up a little bit. There's a, there's a little robin over there. He seems to sort of push the somewhere. There he is. He's pushed the blackbird out. The blackbird seems to have been bullied out of the way by the uh, robin. Which is quite funny, really. Amazing. But yeah, no, it's uh, looking looking good. Someone's just um, stuck its head out way across the other side, really. So you never know. There might be sort of there is a weather change coming, and I'm always sort of curious to whether they sort of feel the weather pressure changing and everything's coming and start feeling a little bit sooner a little bit more active I think it's sort of more Thursday night which I shall be gone home and possibly a little bit of Wednesday I haven't checked the forecast today to see when it's rolling in so I could be talking nonsense to be fair but we'll see uh, what we can do is what we can do really but no right let's see what the second night brings it is now time for time for tea I have my bite of eat. Right, I'll catch you later, folks. Fingers crossed. Oh, we've got an absolutely stunning sunrise coming this morning. I'm hoping we're actually going to get a bit of sunshine. We'll just have to wait and see, really. But it's been a it's been a been an old fresh old night. I must admit, and it's, well, I've been up and had a brew, so I've sort of spoiled the uh, frost on my bivy. But uh, Keep getting the odd line on the right hand rod. I'm not quite sure. There's, it could be Robin's landing on the thingies, I don't know really. But um, you can see from the unhooking mate, it's been a, it's been a bit of a good old frosty one. Hopefully, we're going to get a bit of sunshine, it's going to look quite nice really. Look at that, it's uh, looking very, very nice out there. We shall see. Might sort of perk things up a little bit, a bit of sunshine along those warm margins over there. I don't know really, I can only, only but hope, only but hope, there's definitely a wonderful front coming in, if I was doing Thursday and Friday night, oh my word, the conditions would be perfect, but uh, it'd be Christmas, so I've got to, uh, got to go and do it, can't wait, kids will love it, let's see zoom on the moon, there we go, there we go, looking gorgeous isn't it, absolutely looking gorgeous, uh, uh, let's go back to that uh, glorious, glowing sunrise through the trees. Looking lovely in it, really. Ooh, a bit of. Sorry, I'm just trying to do some photography while I'm doing it, really. <laughs> you know, nothing like uh, videoing and taking photographs. But, uh, oh, look at that. Absolutely love orange glows. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, it's going to be. It's going to be a nice day out here, I think. 
that that cloud doesn't build up and it just turns into a sunny day. Which we'll just have to see. Right. I need to uh, get back to something bivvy. It's uh, blue and freezing out here. I've just got to do some more filming of the mist and the sunrise. It's absolutely unbelievable. The sort of orange glow you get in there. The mist and the house in the background is just ah, oh, it's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. What a what a what a morning, you know. What a morning. The things you see when you're fishing just, just truly amaze me. You know, it's people are all tucked up in their houses, tucked up in their beds. Unbeknown to them, this wondrous world is out here. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. What more could you ask for? You know, it might be minus whatever it is outside, it might be sort of cold. But it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. People wonder why we come fishing. Nah. This is one of the reasons why you come fishing. It's absolutely stunning. Totally amazing, really. Totally amazing. Hopefully you're not picking up the drone or the motorway. Because <laughs> that's not amazing. But anyway. It is what it is, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. He is hoping for a fish today. Anyway. Just a slight change in scenery. I've actually moved swim. I've moved up here. Um, and a fellow syndicate member I know mentioned that he'd uh, seen a couple of more carpy movements up this way. And uh, a couple of weeks back, when I set up in that swim over there, the infamous let's all drop the phone session. Um, I had a rod up here and I saw stuff up here, so I think it's uh, quite a good plan. I've got the deeper out, it's pretty boring apart from one little bit aiming out there um, that had a bit of weed on it, a few fish mixed in it, also a few little bait fish and things, so I could just be basically fishing for pike really with carp tackle, but you don't know, there's a couple of bigger fish moving around, there's at least sort of four or five, six, seven, eight fish maybe, so we'll, we'll just have to see, it's got to be worth the move, you know, where I've been before is clearly not producing me anything the last two nights, so I think I've just got to, got to give it a go, haven't you really, got to give it a go, see where we go, there's a little bit of sun in the sky, so hopefully, just hopefully, something will pay off, I don't know, just got to, it's got to see, really, haven't we? Really got to see. It's done. Now. It's got to be worth the move. One last go. One last night. 2021. Just got to make a bit of effort. Get moving. Get some motivation in me, and uh, get one more last car of the year. That'd be good. Right. I'll keep you posted and update you later on and uh, sort of things out and everything completely. Well, morning everybody. Unfortunately my move didn't pay off. Um, single bleep, about four-ish o'clock this morning. That was it. Possibly think it was the wind. 
picking up. Damn it, really. Nothing sort of occurred from there onwards. Gonna be a bit of a bit of a grey old day. The rain, a tiny little bit of rain, about 3:45 this morning. And since then, it hasn't rained, but uh, you can see it's misty, damp out there. Uh, the rain is coming. The wind's gonna pick up. And uh, if anyone's lucky enough to be uh, fishing on here over Christmas, I could be in with a shout. But for me, it's uh, not gonna be the not gonna be the case. To be heading home so uh, yeah I'm gonna say hope you've enjoyed the festive period I hope it's been a good one because by the time this one comes out which will probably be on New Year's Eve so happy new year to you don't forget to like subscribe and comment and uh, I'll catch up with you in uh, 2022 and um, I'm sure it won't be uh, many days into uh, that year when I'm uh, out and about and having a go. Enjoy. See you all then.